The Halloween season has officially started on Wacky Wizard, and today we've got ourselves the first one for the month of October. If you took part in last year's Halloween event, you'll probably know that there was candy corns all around the map, which have returned, as well as the graveyards. Inside of these, zombies will spawn every so often. You take them out, and in return, you will be given candy corn. Now, if you remember, last year we got ourselves the pumpkin ingredient, which was the 2021 pumpkin ingredient, and this one was an orange pumpkin, but this year we've got ourselves the pumpkin ingredient Halloween 2022, and this time it is white. Now, of course, the Headed Horseman is going to go ahead and give us maybe a couple of tasks to do right behind him. This will change every single day, except if I'm correct, I believe that as the moment that this update goes live, it'll update three hours from this point. So you are actually able to do this two times today if you somehow get on between 5 p.m. EST and 8 p.m. EST, because that is exactly when it will reset all over again, I'm pretty sure. Now, if you look over on this side, there is also a couple of other new kind of like rewards and stuff. We got the cauldron skins as well as uh the npc skins and a nice little title that's called undead so for those of you that didn't take part in it last year i'm gonna run you by how exactly you go ahead and complete the scare board that is located right behind the headed horseman so let's go ahead and start off with the first thing on the list which is goblins and bees so this one is actually pretty simple and i'm gonna take a wild guess this is exactly how it's done which is basically coming over here to where uh the kind of like sleeping bee is Grab that from the hive, teleport to your cauldron, drop it inside of here, grab yourself the bee disguise potion. Don't drink it just yet, because then you're going to go ahead and travel to the goblin village, stand right next to the goblin leader, which is the guy with the uh, pointy hat on, and just drink the potion standing right next to him. You should be able to get a reaction. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we can go ahead and reset ourselves, teleport back to the cauldron. And if you notice over here on the scare board, goblins and bees has now been crossed out next one will be developers and witches for this one you will actually need to put yourself into the cauldron so i already have myself kind of saved i'm going to load that in and then we're also going to grab the witch's brew and drop this inside of here that'll go ahead and make us i believe it's called glinda's potion or something like that travel over here to where the developers are located you can stand right here in the middle drink the potion and you will instantly get a reaction ah we didn't even know that existed so perfect another one completely crossed off the list let's see what we got to do next it is oz and witches so the same thing all over again we're just gonna go ahead load ourselves up grab witch's brew drop it inside of here take the potion and travel over to where oz is located now i do know that oz is in the pool over there on the left hand side but the one that you want to come to is right behind this bush but come inside of here stand next to oz drink the potion and again he will react for all good things in the oasis ah and you've now completed that one. The next one is another one that repeats. It says witches and bees. We're just going to go and grab ourselves a sleepy bee and head on over to where Glinda is located. If you don't know exactly where that is, it's over here in the desert, right where the train kind of spawns in. On the left hand side, there is a cave right here. So go ahead, stand right next to Glinda, drink the potion, and that will get done. Final one is actually something different. It says Pete and guns. So I'm going to take a wild guess to say that we can pretty much do whatever gun we want to. I'm going to just grab the gun ingredient, drop it inside of here, and that'll make a bullet potion. I think this should work. If not, we'll come up with another solution. But again, stand next to Pete. He is located here in the center of the map. Drink your potion. And he will say, ah, done, very easy. Keep in mind, these do reset every single day. But just like that, I went ahead and made myself 255 candy corn. Keep in mind, like I mentioned at the start of the video, this might change within the next three hours. So the scare board might be completely different by the time that you're watching this. I'll try my very best to go ahead and maybe make some update videos if you guys are interested. But in order to get our hands on this pumpkin, it is going to be 1,800. I don't normally make videos on all of the potions anymore because, well, we really have one every single week and I just really bring you guys the ingredient and let you take kind of the fun part of finding all of the potions. But this year, I think I'm gonna go ahead, get my hands on the ingredient and i will bring you guys a video on all the potions if i had to choose any specific farming method for the candy corn i would say probably taking out zombies 
is the best way but you're really gonna have a tough time getting it this way the scare board is 100 percent the best way of getting candy corn but obviously if that is on cooldown then you can go ahead travel around the entire map there is different locations where you will find candy corn hidden they do respawn after a certain amount of time but the zombies is kind of like a guaranteed way where you can just sit there farm for a really long time and make yourself quite a bit of candy corn as for the graveyards you can find one right next to the actual spaceship that elon musk has there is another graveyard that is located up here where the cannon is if you notice it is located right there i'll just go ahead and kind of give you guys a view of where exactly i'm standing let me take out this zombie because he is going to take me out and then of course you have the one that is over here in the goblin village those are three graveyards that you can go ahead and farm at obviously in public servers there's going to be a lot of people at these trying to farm for them make sure that you get your hands on this ingredient you will only have until the end of the month i don't know if this will be in the legacy mainly because it is a seasonal ingredient but yeah congratulations to everybody we hit 25 million potions we're literally so close to hitting 50 million and then our next stop after that is going to be 75 and then the big secret on 100 million potions i'm going to go ahead and end off the video right there make sure that you guys subscribe drop a like on this video if it helped you out remember there is more updates this entire month that are going to be halloween themed and you never know maybe at some point something really crazy might happen either way i'm going to go ahead and end up the video right here like always i will see you guys in the next one take care